Manhunt continues for a killer wanted in six deaths around Metro Detroit. Detroit police, the FBI, state police, the ATF all zeroed in on a home in Highland Park today. But in the end, officers and agents still did not capture Canal Brown. Larry Sproul joins us live in front of Detroit police headquarters tonight. And Larry, where does the manhunt stand right now? Well, Sandra and Priya, police are still working around the clock to try to find Brown. They are executing every tip that they received here at headquarters. That's why they rampaged a home in Highland Park, only to find out that he was not there. But police say they know he's in the area. Sunday, Detroit Police Special Response Team, Emergency Support Team, Michigan State Police and U.S. Marshals surrounded this home in Highland Park searching for this man, 41-year-old Kenyell Brown. We are searching for a very dangerous subject. Command and Darren Zalji with Detroit Police says Brown is armed and wanted. Mr. Brown is now a suspect in multiple homicides, up to six at this time. Police said Brown is allegedly involved with murders in Detroit, Highland Park, and River Rouge. The subject's wanted for multiple shootings. He's very, very dangerous. And our law enforcement partners, including the Detroit Police Department, we really need to get this suspect in custody. Saturday night, the family of father of three, Amir Thaxton, held a vigil after he was killed last week. His family believes Brown has something to do with it. I won't stop until we know. Officers are following every tip. Our investigation led us to this address on Stephen Street in Highland Park. We had information that we believe he's uh, frequenting this location. We know he stayed here in the past. Somehow he keeps getting away. That's because police say he is befriending people at gas stations and staying at their homes. Everyone knows that they they can't aid and help this guy's escape. This guy's it's a matter of time before he gets caught. There's no reason for any citizen to put themselves out there to help him. And police say right now there are multiple people under investigations that they believe helped Brown in the past. Meanwhile, there is a $10,000 reward. They're asking anyone with any information to call the 24-hour hotline. That number is 313-234-5656. We're live at headquarters tonight. Larry Sproul, Local 4. All right, and of course, we'll update any new developments. Thank you, Larry.